Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question, we have taken it up from the topic of geometric progression. And we are continuing a series of questions on JWE Advanced. So today's question, we have taken it up from the year 2010. And if I talk about the question which is presented to us in this from this topic, geometric progression, the question says that SK where k goes from 1 to 100. Sk is nothing but sum of infinite terms of geometric progression. That is given to us. So we have been given Sk is sum of infinite terms of geometric progression with the first term also given to us, where first term is a, that is given to us as k minus 1 upon k factorial. And we have also been given the common ratio R, that is a constant ratio that is given by 1 by k. So we have been given first term as well as the common ratio also. And after this, we have been asked to find the value of an expression that is 100 square divided by 100 factorial plus summation of k equals to 2 to 100 mod of we have been given k square minus 3k plus 1 and multiplied with sk, which is nothing but sum of infinite terms of geometry. So this entire thing is given to us with the sum of 100 square upon 100 factorial. And we have been told to find the value of this entire expression. And if I talk about the options that are given to us here, it is a1, b is 2, C given to us as P and P is given to us as So these are the four options. We need to find the correct answer matching with this option. Let's try to understand how do we solve this type of questions. So we already know one idea that sum of infinite terms of a geometric progression is given by A upon 1 minus R. And if I explain it to you what a geometric progression means, it's basically First term is A. Second term, if I need it, I multiply it with the common ratio, that is R. Again, if I need the second term, I multiply it, the previous with R. So it becomes AR squared. Further, it becomes AR cube, AR4, and so on. So if you see, the ratio to second to first term is basically R. That is a common ratio or a constant ratio, I should say. If you divide third term by second term, you get R square by R again because A gets cancelled out. That again gives you A, which is a constant ratio. So when the ratio is constant between the consecutive terms, it becomes a geometric progression. And sum of infinite terms in a geometric progression is given by A upon 1 minus R. When A is your first term, and R is the common ratio, or I should say the constant. That is the ratio between the terms. Now, if I have this entire series with me, it's given to me A is first term. So if I try to solve this, A is inverse K minus 1 upon K. And R is also given to me, that is 1 by K. So if I write this, sum of infinite terms of geometric progression becomes K minus 1 upon K factorial. 1 minus r, that is 1 minus 1 by k. So I get this as k minus 1 upon k factorial. And this, if you solve it further by cross multiplication, 1 minus 1 by k, that basically becomes k minus 1 by k. Now you can just see that k minus 1 gets cancelled out. You are left with k factorial in the denominator here. So k factorial is left to the denominator. And if you see this k which is present in the denominator of the denominator, that goes actually to the denominator. So you get that as k upon k factor. So k upon k into k minus 1. So k and k gets cancelled out. 
So you get this sum of infinite terms of geometric progression. That is 1 upon k minus 1. Now let's just try to find out the value of the entire expression. So in that entire expression, first if I try to find out this, let's try to find out this part. Once you get the answer for this part, we'll just add this 100 square upon 100 factor. So let's find out. Summation of k equals to 2 to 100. The expression given to us is k square minus 3k plus 1. In the mod, multiplied with sum of infinite terms. So if you write this expression, summation of k equals to 2 to 100. Now I can see this. If I try to convert it in terms of a perfect square, I know k square minus 2k plus 1 is a perfect square. So I can split this 3k as minus 2k minus k. And sum of infinite terms, I already know the answer for that. That's 1 upon k minus 2. So it becomes summation of k equals to 2 to 1. This, if you see now, it becomes k square minus 2k plus 1. And it is nothing but same as a square minus 2ab plus b square. So k square minus 2k plus 1 basically is nothing but a perfect square. That is of k minus 1. So you get that as k minus 1 the whole square minus k multiplied with k minus 1. So if you solve this, you get this answer. Summation of k equals to 200. This becomes more of k minus 1 the whole square upon k minus 1 into k minus 2 factor. So I'm just using the ideas of factorial here that we know n factorial can be written as n into n minus 1 factorial. So same ways we are using that minus k. Here I'm giving it as k minus 1. So if you see here, I can cancel 1k minus 1 term. When I cancel that, what are you looking at? Summation of k equals to 2 to 100. Mod of k minus 1 upon k minus 2 factor minus k upon k minus 1. So if I put now the values of k from 2 to 100, Let's see what I get. So if I put those values, k is equal to 2 first, you get that as 2 minus 1. So let's let's write this here again. So, so you have k minus 1 upon k minus 2 factor here. Minus you have k upon k minus 1. So in the numerator you have only k. So if you now just substitute the values from 2 to 100, if I first substitute 2 here, you get this as 2 minus 1, 1, upon 2 minus 2 factorial, that is 0 factorial, minus, here if you put that as 2, you get 2 upon 2 minus 1 factorial, 1 factorial. So this is mod of the first expression when you put the values of k as 2. Now if I put the value of k as 3, you get that as 3 minus 1, on 3 minus 2 factorial that is 1 minus this is 3 upon 3 minus 1 that is 2 then you get that as 4 minus 1 so it becomes 3 factorial again not 3 factorial 3 again if you put 4 here 4 minus 2 gives you 2 factorial here again if you put that you get this expression becoming 4 upon 3 factorial Again, you have this 4 upon 3 factorial minus 5 upon 4. So I'm getting a pattern here understood. And the last term in this case, if I even write the second last term, that will be for 99, it will become 98 upon 97 factorial minus 99 upon 98. And the last term in this case, if I put that as 100, it becomes 99 by 98 factorial. Minus 100 by 98. So now if I try to solve this expressions outside the mod, 
I get this as one upon zero factorial. We already know that the value for zero factorial is one. So it is one upon one one, and this is again one factorial, which is one. So one minus two is minus one. So if I take it out of the mod, we already know that mod of anything always gives you a positive. So if I want this expression to become positive, I get this as two upon one factorial minus one upon zero. So this is our first expression. Second expression, if you see, it is two minus this becomes three by two, which is one point five. So now this becomes lesser than the previous. So I write it as it is because that is positive value. After that, if you see all the terms, the first part is a bigger value and the second part is a smaller value. So we will write all of the other terms as it is. So no need to reverse them as we did in the first. So I think that is. So after writing them as it is, we are. Trying to find a pattern here, and if I see the pattern, I am able to understand that one pattern is being followed, wherein only the first term was reversed. We wrote all the other terms as it is, and when we wrote all the other terms as it is, except the first three terms, from the fourth term onwards, I can see. Same terms are present with a negative and positive sign, and when you have negative and positive sign with same terms, that actually becomes zero. So this gets cancelled. This gets cancelled. So all the terms in between also will get cancelled. You will be only left with the first three terms and the last. So if you try to solve that, you get that as two upon one factorial, which is two upon one, which is two minus. One upon zero factorial, which is one upon one, which is one plus two factorial. So two upon one factorial. So it is again, and the last one is left, which is hundred upon anything. So you get this as two plus two four four minus one is three three minus hundred by ninety nine five. This is the answer for the second part of the expression which is given to us. Now, if I add the first part also of the expression to the second part, and if you now solve it, get that as hundred square upon hundred factorial. If I try to split it, get that as hundred into hundred. Hundred factorial write it as hundred. So two zeros get cancelled. You are left with. So now, if you just try to find the value of the expression that is given to you. So if I put it here only, I get this as I got the previous part expansion as hundred upon ninety nine factorial, and for the second part we just solve that entirely. We just solve this expression and we got the answer for this as three minus hundred by ninety nine. So if I just substitute that, you get three minus hundred by ninety nine factorial. So plus hundred by ninety nine factorial minus hundred by ninety nine factorial. It's cancelled, and you're left with three. And if you see the value of the expression, so the answer for the question which is given to us becomes. Three. And if you see the correct option that matches here with the question is C. So C is the correct answer for the question for which we were asked the value of the entire expression with the concept of sum of infinite terms of John. So we just found the sum. We got S K. We just substituted that, solved it, found the sum of the entire expression. All the other terms got cancelled except the four terms. Solving that gave us three minus hundred by ninety nine factorial. The first part gave us hundred by ninety nine factorial. We added this. This hundred by ninety nine factorial got cancelled and we're left with nothing. So the answer for the question becomes. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions on some of infinite terms of geometric progression. I'll see you again tomorrow with some other question from some other topic. Till then, you can like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Also, 
do share this videos with your friends who are also involved in the preparation of JRE. Thank you.